Hi, I'm Fire Captain Greg Barta, and this is the OCFA Quarterly Size Up. In this edition of the OCFA Quarterly Size Up, we're gonna cover statistics on emergency responses, shed some light on a few of the more dramatic calls we've had, and highlight community involvement. In the quarter covering April, May, and June, your OCFA firefighters responded to 42,355 calls. Now, when we take a deeper dive into those calls for service, they break down as follows. We responded to 584 fires, 31,629 EMS calls, and finally, 10,142 all-hazard calls, such as traffic collisions, remote rescues, hazardous materials calls, and many others. As you can see, it was a busy quarter. Now let's take a closer look at a few of those calls we responded to. On Wednesday, April 5th, at 1.04 in the morning, firefighters responded to a two-story apartment complex with heavy fire in Buena Park. When Engine 62 arrived on scene, fire was already spreading to multiple apartment homes and even to an adjacent building. A second alarm was quickly called to provide additional crews to aid in the firefight. Firefighters did a tremendous job knocking the fire down rapidly, saving nearby homes. The cause of the fire was determined to be accidental in nature due to unattended cooking. On Monday, June 12th, at just after 3 p.m., a vehicle lost control and drove off the side of Alicia Parkway in the city of Santa Margarita. The vehicle ended up approximately 120 feet down a hillside with the driver trapped. Firefighters quickly executed a low-angle rope rescue to save the victim and hand off care to awaiting firefighter paramedics to transport the patient to a local trauma center. On Tuesday, June 20th, at 6.20 in the evening, crews were dispatched to a reported commercial fire in Irvine. When Engine 26 arrived, they reported that they were on scene of a strip mall with a fire in an end unit. The well-involved fire had extended into the mansard, which is an extension of the roof structure beyond the front wall of the building. As a result, the fire was beginning to spread laterally. The incident commander called for a second and then third alarm to aid in saving the building. Thanks to a well-coordinated, aggressive fire attack, the fire was rapidly brought under control and damage was limited to one unit. On Friday, June 23rd, at 1127 in the morning, firefighters were dispatched to a vegetation fire in San Juan Capistrano. When Battalion 6 arrived on scene, he reported a two-acre vegetation fire that was threatening structures. With the well-coordinated air and ground attack, firefighters were able to save the impacted homes, stop the forward progress of the fire in just 43 minutes, and limit the fire to only 4.7 acres burn, thus achieving our goal of keeping 95% of brush fires to 10 acres or less. Firefighters were called to help a mountain biker who fell off his bike while riding the trails of Laguna Niguel on Monday, June 26th. Due to the remote location, our helicopter utilized a hoist operation with assistance from Engine 30 and Technical Rescue Truck 56 to rapidly extract the trauma patient from the location and get him to the hospital as quickly as possible. Next up is a portion we like to call Community Corner. One of the best parts of being a firefighter is getting to interact with everyone in the cities we serve. In the last quarter, we were involved in nearly 400 scheduled community events. This doesn't even include the daily spur of the moment interactions occurring countless times each day throughout the county. There are two of these events we thought we would shed a little more light on. We partnered with the American Red Cross, Lake Forest CERT, Santa Ana College, and community volunteers to install free smoke alarms in the city of Lake Forest. Our 29 teams installed 431 smoke alarms and provided fire safety education to 645 mobile homes. Additionally, last quarter, we were involved in the Every 15 Minutes DUI Education Program in San Juan Capistrano, Aliso Viejo, Rancho Santa Margarita, and Yorba Linda. This valuable education, which is delivered to high schoolers throughout Orange County, is something we have been involved in for years now, and we look forward to continuing the work with our partner agencies to help save lives. Well, that concludes this episode of the OCFA Quarterly Size Up. I'm sure everyone is glad that we're in the thick of summer with the sun shining and the warm weather. Along with this, we do have an increased likelihood of brush fires occurring and causing damage. Please visit our website, www.ocfa.org slash ready, set, go to learn how to keep safe in the event of a vegetation fire. Ready, set, go gives you the tools to protect you, your family, property, and community from wildfires. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next quarter.